Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. As you can tell from the title, we're talking about how do you improve your rowing. A lot of people struggle sometimes. I definitely do with improving my rowing, but we're going over a few tips and we're going to ask some of the people here at Leander Club how they might improve theirs. But if you stay till the end, you get the biggest tip, the most important tip for improving your rowing. But you might not like it. But now, first things first, as always, we have to get ready for our first session. The water looks absolutely fantastic. So let's get to it. And we made it back into the crew room for another day to fuel up because remember food is fuel after a session on the lovely water this morning and then we're going to talk a little bit about improving your rowing oh yeah and we've made it outside of the club post fueling up because remember food is fuel we've got yam and maya here as well playing around and we're talking about tips on how to row better. Ed, what are you doing there? I'm just watching a video of um, the men's four from oh. 2011. Uh, Alex Gregory mm. is rowing like an absolute wizard. And why are you watching that, Ed? It's very timely as the topic today is about how to improve your rowing. So why would you watch this footage? Um, I would watch it because you want to get a good idea of like how people who are really good at rowing are rowing. Get like a framework in your head of how they row and then try and do that when you're on the water. Try and think about that as like a sort of structure to row yourself. Ah, so instead of guessing yeah. what you're trying to do, you can see what you're trying to do and then build off of that. Yeah, so and like add it to your mental picture. A visualization yeah. of what you're trying to do. Exactly. What would, who would you say would be, so in that boat you've got the GB Men's 4 in 2011, where? It's Lucerne. And so the third World Cup? Yeah. And then anybody else or any other books you would think of? To be honest, if you can find videos of Alex Gregory, that's just <laughs> ideal. <laughs> and also, Ed's, Ed's video. <laughs> so Alex Gregory, very good sort of framework, very good roar. He is unfortunately now retired from GB rowing, but 
videos are out there of him rowing. Anybody else? I think it's as well, like, so for me, I look at um, bigger people who row well, um, like uh, Mo Hamid Sabihi. He, um, those videos of him on the line of him rowing really well, and that sort of applies to me. Um, and I suppose if you're a lightweight, looking for lightweight rowing, or I mean lightweight rowing in general is generally more technical. So even looking at that, if you're a heavyweight as well works. If you're a woman generally looking at, say, Alex Gregory's rowing, yes, it's good, but it might be a bit different like to... Heather Stanning or something like that. Yeah, I would say. exactly. Yeah. Um, so looking at what who applies to you and then building off that to make a framework so of what you can approach. Also, don't necessarily always watch the like the Olympians. It can be quite daunting looking at them and thinking, oh, they're way, way better than me. If you can find someone at your club who's really good or like a bit better than you, then use what they're doing like yeah. to, to try and improve. And that's a good way of looking at it. Like if you can roll with or watch someone who's better than you, like when I was playing basketball, I was trying to play with or against people who are better than me and it, all, it just forces you to get that bit better, that bit faster. But that's not the only way to improve and we're going through a couple more tips throughout the day. But first, we're going to keep letting Yam and Maya play. Oh yeah. And now it's time to start our next session with Robson on the air. Robson, tips for improving your rowing. Oh God, I need to learn something. <laughs> uh, you should watch this vlog when it yeah, comes out. Yeah, watch this vlog. Um, tips for improving your rowing. Yes. Um, don't try too hard. Don't, 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 don't look to make it feel heavy. Look to make the boat go fast. Because too many people just think I'm just going to. I'm trying really hard. I'm just going to pull as hard as I can, and we need to stop doing that. Mm. So there's times when pulling hard is good, yeah. but when we're trying to improve your rowing, look for the boat speed, not the effort. Yeah. All right. Now it's time to get in the air. Go you. We've made it outside of the club for another day. Been an interesting one today, so we're on the water and on the erg. This morning we switched boats and I discussed a little bit yesterday about being a little bit rusty on the or in the pair, especially in the bow of the pair. But today it was a little bit better. We switched boats and I think that made a bigger difference than I realised. Just we where there's quite a few pairs here at Leander Club, we're really lucky to have them. And I think some of them are just set up that bit differently and just happens to be the one that I was in today was set up more to something that suited me. But we're talking about improving your rowing. So that's one thing. Making sure the equipment you're using is set up for you and to give you the best opportunity to row well. That's another thing, but that's a side note. Two points here. One, just as we finished the erg today, I made sure that my level of perceived exertion was what I believe to be correct. So in the UT2 zones, and that is kind of what I want to talk about now, is the when you are training, it is really easy to just give your all of your intensity to every training session. And so what that can end up doing is a few different things. So if you're training session is supposed to be a lower intensity session and you add intensity to it, then it means that you've got less intensity to add to the next session or the next day or whatever it is. And so therefore the quality of your sessions can decrease. So when you have easy sessions, make them easy. When you have hard sessions, make them hard. And what this will do, it will actually improve both sides of your fitness and also mean that on those easy sessions you get a little bit of a break almost but you're still working on what you're supposed to be working on 
And then on the hard sessions, you get to see different numbers or better numbers that you might not have seen before. And you could probably, if you're doing it right, there'll be that progression, which then turns into, okay, I'm seeing these good numbers. I feel like I'm training well. I'm getting more motivated, which then pushes into rowing better as well. Because when you feel like you're doing well, when you feel like you're fit, when you're confident, it's that little bit easier to row that little bit better. And lastly, like I said at the start of the video, I said there's one point that... Yam, here, leave. Yam. There's one point that can really improve your rowing and it's something you might not necessarily like because it's not really a secret. It's not really uh, the secret sauce that you might want to hear. It is listen to your coaches. They're there to help you. They can see what you're doing. They can see what you need to do to improve. They can give you different tips to help you improve. They can just give you a different outlook than what you might be seeing. Coaches are invaluable, so use them to the best of their ability as well as your own so that you can get the most out of them as well as the most out of yourself. But it's all a case of teamwork. So if you're really motivated to learn, to get fitter, get stronger, get better, then the coach is gonna respond and help you get better, get fitter and get stronger. So it's a win-win for both of you. So it just makes that a little bit easier to work together when you're both just really going for success and improvement. But that will be it for today's video, Yam Squad. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you can take a few of the tips to improve your rowing. I know it's not anything necessarily a secret, right? If you do this one thing, you're gonna row better or do if you row this way, you'll go faster because rowing and generally any sport just takes time and consistency to do it better than other people. And as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.